Right, well, good morning. Um, this was going to be an on the bench video today, but it's not quite going to be. What I'm going to do is today, I'm going to explain. You say you bring a guitar to me for a setup, and my setup, my basic setup, start at 35 quid. And sometimes you tell people 35 quid, they look at you gone out, they're looking at you like you've asked them for the bloody family jewels or something. And so I want to let you know what you're getting for this 35 quid when you, when you bring a guitar to me. And um, setting up a guitar, it might seem relatively simple from the outside, but and it, and it is for someone like me because I've been doing it, you know, it's second nature. But they take time. It takes time to do a guitar. Um, a regular basic setup, you're looking, even if it's really well set up anyway, and people just want the action of what they're doing, you know, and re restringing them. It takes a minimum, of, a bare minimum of an hour. I would say a basic setup on a guitar takes about an hour and a half. So for 35 quid, let me show you what you're going to get for your 35 quid. And then I'm going to explain. I'm going to use, I've got an Edwards, it's a really nice guitar in there. I've got an Edwards Black Beauty, a triple unbooker affair. It's coming, it's got choking frets up, up the top end there. And I've checked the action, I've checked the level, the, the frets, see if the frets are level. Now the frets, before, before need ultra, need, need touching. But what I'm going to do is, there's no runoff. What we call a runoff here is from the 12th fret onwards up to the 22nd fret. What we tend to do is, in the business, we go, we go, we go from the 12th fret we go progressively down at an angle. And it's called a runoff area. And all we do is, we're looking at the thickness of a, of a piece of tape from a 12th fret down to a 22nd. So it's a very, very slight gradient. But when we do this, um, obviously we've got to take strings off, which we do with set up anyway. And um, we do it on a, a jig, which I'm going to show you the jig in a minute. Before we get on to that, I'm going to tell you what this guitar wants. This guitar is coming. It needs the, it's got choking frets up there. Now I've checked the action. The action's low. Uh, not uncomfortably low, but probably a bit lower than I'd recommend. The nut action is absolutely bang on. It's 0.3 mil from the bottom of the, from the top of the first fret to the strings. Uh, I've checked the radius on that. That's fine. So the guitar's had a good setup in its time. The action is down to about 1.25 round about 12 fret on the top E, which is for me a bit low. Should be about 1.5, and it's 1.5 or a bit under on the uh, on the bottom E. Uh, on the top E is 1.25. So, but there's too much relief in this neck. Now I'm going to take the relief out and check again, but I still think we're going to get choking frets. So we're going to do the runoff. Now when we do this runoff, we're not only we're filing the frets a bit lower, but progressively to a 20 second fret, we've then got to recrown them frets and we've got polishing. Now for a full fret dress and recrown, I charge 75 quid, which is very reasonable. Um, I'm not going to charge for a full one on this. Uh, we've already discussed the price, we're happy with that anyway. But I'm going to let you know for your 35 quid what you're going to get right, when, when you have a setup. And I'm not flying the flag for guitar techs and luthiers here saying, oh, 35 quid's cheap. Um, you know, with, with a basic setup, what you're getting is, putting the guitar up, you're going to get, you're going to get your knot checked. We're going to check the heart on there, we're going to get your knot checked. Once we've done that, we're going to check the relief of your neck and see if there's any bow in there. We're going to sort that out. Again, when we've done that, then we're going to move on to your bridge heart. We're going to check that and your saddles and we're going to check everything's all set up right on the bridge and the, and the tailpiece. Then we're going to do your intonation. Now look at this, not a doddle on these, because these are lockable bridges. What we do is these move forwards and backwards. You do intonation by ultra saddles, as we all know. Then you've got to do your height of your bridge up and down. Now the thing is with these being locked, you have to get them on the rollers and you have to unlock these before you can move it up and down. So you've got that to do, that's finicky. Once that's all done, I tend to do this with the old strings on the intonation. So when you put new strings on, it's already set for you. Then we're going to check the height of the pickles. Make sure we're all the same height and make sure we're going to test it through an amp. Make sure they're all putting out the same volume in whatever position you're in, which is very important. Then we're going to check your electrics. Make sure there's no scratching parts or anything. Now we'll move on to advanced setups in a bit. But we, these are things we do. We don't get, I don't charge for stuff like that. We check your three-way, make sure there's no scratching with the electrics. So once we've done all that, we've got everything set. What we do then is we take off the strings and we restring the guitar. Now depending on what level of setup you've got, now that's what you get basically for a basic setup. 
you know, when your bridge done, your nut done, your action, your neck, your strings put back on, your pickups check, your electrics check, blah blah blah. Your tuner's all checked, make sure everything's tight on the tuners. Like this one's got a bent tuner that I guarantee the owner doesn't know about, which I'm going to straighten. I'm going to dismantle that, take it off the guitar, dismantle it and straighten it. Uh, I won't charge for that. So that's your basic setup, that's your 35 quid. Now, when it comes to ebony or rosewood fretboards or dark fretboards, I normally look and see if they want oil in. Normally want a lemon oil, lemon oil treatment, which I do. And you guarantee the frets are always dull. So what I do on an intermediate setup for an extra 10 quid, you're going to get your neck oiled and you're going to get your frets polished. Um, and I mean polished uh, with wire wool, steel wool, bit of polish over there. I use the um, the REIT stuff. What is it called? REIT? I'll tell you what it's called. Peak, not REIT. It's REIT good. Peak. I use some of that. I charge 10 quid for that. That's your intermediate setup. That's your basic setup plus intermediate. Now, if you go for your full setup, you get your not not only checked, you get your not recut, you get your saddles recut, you get your electrics redone if you've got any dodgy pots or anything in there. You get various cleanups, you get the full whack, you get a fret level in there as well. Now I charge 75 quid for a complete fret level. If you want up to 10 frets doing, need a doing, I'll include that in a full setup for 65 quid. Now a lot of my, I would say competitors, but a lot of people I know charge around about 90 quid for that. I think when all said and done for a setup, 35 quid is absolutely it's a blinding deal. Um, you get your guitar back in an ultimate playing condition. No matter what the state of the guitar, I'm not going to polish your guitar for you for 35 quid. I'm not going to polish your frets for 35 quid. They come as a little bit of an extra. Um, but 35 quid, I think, is very, very good value. Now, moving on to what this guitar wants. I'm going to do the run off. From 12th fret down to here, it's going to take me. I don't, don't matter how long it takes me, it's taking me an hour, maybe, maybe more. Once I've done the runoff, I'm going to have to recrown these frets, uh, which takes time. Now, not only that, this guitar will have to go on the jig over there. Now, I'm going to take the camera over and show you the jig. But pouring a guitar on a jig is not a piece of cake. You don't just pour it on there, strap it up, and that's it. Oh no, it's much more complex than that. So, what is it? I'm going to put the guitar over there, I'm going to show you what that entails. So there you go, there's a custom neck jig I built, um, it's a copy of the Stumac affair there, um, and that's it, but you don't just bag it on and that's it, look how the guitar's not level, what I'm going to have to do is, I'll leave the camera there, the guitar has to be level, so what we'll do is we'll take this, and we have to alter these adjusters up and down until we've got this level, we'll now put this to the plate, this is a fixing plate. So what your guitar sits on, it's padded, and once we've got that level, like so, well it's not level at the moment, I'm just showing you for an example there, once that's done, we'll put in the dials for a zero, for a zero dial, so we'll put the dials in, because once we've got the neck straight and it all strapped in, we zero these two out, and we keep them at zero, and that's it, once it's all strapped in and everything's set at zero, we're never next dead straight, and we use these steel bars here, which go in these certain holes here, look. And we adjust them and we tighten them on these. And basically, once we've got the neck level, always in there, we have to get that neck dead level before we can do any fret work on it. Now that takes anything up to, it takes about 30 minutes to do it precision, get it set up absolutely right. So this is time. Um, a lot of our work is time based, you know, and um, it might seem like, you know, you're not getting value for money, you're not getting your money's worth. Let me tell you now, right, when you take a guitar for a setup and a bit of fretwork, you're getting your bloody money's worth. I absolutely guarantee it. If you look at me who charges someone like round about 25 quid an hour, and you look at, say, a fret job, you have a full fret job on a guitar, it's going to take you eight hours. That's 200 quid. Then you've got your fret wire, you've got the skill you're paying for, blah, 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 blah. We never charge 200 quid for a fret job. I'm charging 30 quid to do off a fret level. 30 quid, you tell me where you can go and get it. It's going to take me two hours, maybe. Even if it takes me an hour, so what? So there you go. It's not a, this is not a moaning video. Um, it's a video just to highlight where your money goes when you, when you come and have a job done. Um, you know, to be honest, I think guitar techs, people who set up guitars, have absolutely got great value for money. 
you bring your guitar in, it plays like a wanker. You get it back, it plays absolutely superb. Now with me, you get a guarantee with my work. If you're not happy with any of the work at all, I'll come and pick the guitar up and I'll put it back, I'll put it absolutely right for you and I'll drop it back off. And there'll be no charge for that at all, no matter where you live, where I've come from. Also with me, I do a lot of guitars from Nottingham and I have to go and pick them up, it's 15 miles from where I live. 50 mile away, 50 mile back, that's 30 mile each way, that's 60 mile, that's two gallons of petrol in my car, that's every 11 quid in petrol, I charge a fiver for petrol. So I'm losing a fiver on fuel every time I pick a guitar from Nottingham. So uh, this is basically to highlight what good value I think we give. And I'm not talking about myself, I'm talking about other guitar techs and luthiers as well. If are asking 40 quid for a basic setup, you know, you're getting a good job there. You know, you're getting your guitar back in pristine and the ultimate playing position. And it's what you're paying for, it's what you want. I think 40 quid good value. A lot of them, are, a lot of them, you won't get a basic setup with a lot of them for under 50 quid. I definitely think 35 quid's good value. And I've only just put her up, reluctantly put her up uh, in the last couple of months. And I felt a bit bad. I was charging 30 quid. But you know, it, it's getting to the point where is it worth me doing it for that? You know, end of the day, we've got Matt living, we've got to put bread and butter on the table. You know how it works. We're all, we're all in the same boat, we're all short of money. Uh, we're all being ripped off by the same system, the same government. Me, as a guitar tech, I want to help musicians out. I love guitars myself. I think that shows in my work, but, you know, and I've got some lads coming and we can't afford the work and I never send them away. You know, I let them, if they want to pay an instalment, so I let them off a bit anyway, and I let them pay an instalment, and they'll vouch for me. Any of the people who bring guitars to me, they'll say how fair I am and, and I always do extra work for nothing anyway. It's not about pitying people and feeling sorry for people, it's end of the day, you bring a guitar for me and you want my expertise right, I want you to go away uh, with a, a great guitar, I want you to be happy with the work and I want you to come back to me and recommend me to your mates. So that's basically what it's all about. So there you go, I hope that's shed some light on the, um, how we go about things here. I'm going to, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the strings off this, I'm going to, let, I'm going to straighten the neck, get over ne I'm going to get back on the other bench. I'm going to straighten the neck, I'm going to get it all tested, I'm going to leave these strings on and I'm going to see if I can get the action right without any binging and fizzing and pinging around here on a decent action and uh, when I find out I can't do that and there's still going to be a choking around here because there are some frets need working on, there's definitely four need working on regardless of whether I do the uh, runoff uh, frets or, or whatever um, but basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to be getting it back on it again it sets up and I'll come back and do a little bit more video, show you how I'll go about doing the runoff on the frets. And um, that's going to be it for now. So uh, I'm just looking for my video controller. One second. I should always keep this in my hand. Um, I'm going to blob on now with this guitar because I've got loads of work to do this week. I've got loads of videos to do. So I'm going to blob on with it and I'll get back to you soon. Until I talk to you again, be good to each other.